One of the women on the reality show, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City on Bravo, Brian Stelter's favorite channel, which follows around a group of trophy wives and their drama, was just kicked off of the show, but not for any of her on-air antics, but instead for something that she posted on social media almost two years ago. The recently resurfaced posts denounced the quote, BLM thugs and said, God forbid, that white lives matter. Instead of doubling down, which is always the right thing to do when the cancel mob comes for a rich or famous celebrity who has enough money to never work another day in their life even if they do get canceled, she is apologizing and said she doesn't remember making those terrible posts and speculated that maybe her social media manager posted them on her account and it wasn't even her. As part of her apology tour, she even went on a black podcast to help get educated about Black Lives Matter. If you want to get educated about Black Lives Matter, honey, then you subscribe and tune into this YouTube channel. But the big news this week is there's going to be an opening on the Supreme Court after Justice Stephen Breyer announced his retirement. Or actually, I guess, it was announced for him. But here's the man who's going to be making the decision about who his replacement is. But uh, um, I might point out, you're, uh, when I went to Dearborn driving that uh, you know, uh, was up there. I don't know, man. Of course, old Joe announced white people need not apply because he's going to be picking a black woman, another affirmative action hire like Kamala Harris, who not only isn't qualified to be the vice president, but nobody likes. I've made no decision except one. That person will be the first black woman ever nominated to the United States Supreme Court. Yes, that is racial discrimination against whites, Asians, and every other race. Because in the United States, it's against the law to turn people away from a job opening because of their race. But anti-whiteism isn't only allowed, it's encouraged today in America by the Marxist Democrats and the liberal media industrial complex. And that's a term that should enter the public lexicon, anti-whiteism. Because when people hear the word racism, they've been conditioned to falsely believe that that's something that white people do to black people. And critical race theory, or CRT, only softens what's going on. It's anti-whiteism. You've heard of anti-Semitism, and now you've heard of the term anti-whiteism. Start using it, but I'm sure it won't be much longer now until the ADL and Southern Poverty Law Center will declare that anti-whiteism is a white supremacist slogan. Old Joe catering to Black Lives Matter and picking another diversity hire isn't surprising. What is surprising, however, is that nasty Pelosi, who's almost 82 years old, announced that she's going to be running for re-election for her congressional seat. Why would she do this, you ask, when all odds are that Republicans will hopefully take back the House in November? in the midterms and she'll no longer be speaker she'll just be an ordinary congressperson because if she retired then everyone including the liberal media are going to start talking about how certain other politicians are a little bit too old to be running the country you know what i hope she wins re-election and we take back the house and she gets demoted from speaker the third most powerful person in the country in the world really to a door greeter at the Capitol, saying hello to the high school kids who come into town for their field trip. <laughs> she could tell them all about how she survived the January 6th insurrection. I'm not saying that she lost her mind because she's old. She lost her mind because she's a Democrat. Actually, she became a Democrat because she'd lost her mind. And now that she is elderly, the problem is just compounding. To be clear, you're not taking any arrows out of your quiver. You're not ruling anything out. Good morning, Sunday morning. As we all know, Democrats at some point earlier in their lives came down with the liberal pathogen, which has devastating effects on the human brain. We can only hope that at some point in the future we find a cure for liberalism, but at this point, what we do know is that science proves Democrats are brain dead. And to help spread the word, order your science proves Democrats are brain dead shirt from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below. And like all of my designs, it's available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head out over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check it out.